patch 6.2 is pretty much here and I keep getting the question on when exactly is the preparation guide coming out and I'll be direct, it's not. A large, massive, huge reason for that is that we are seeing Savage being delayed by a week. That is unprecedented and that is something that is going to have a huge impact on what I normally recommend for a raid tier patch. And I always, always try my best to be someone who speaks from actual tangible experience and I've yet to experience this. Everyone has yet to experience this and so I'm not confident on speaking and so I've been biting my tongue. And obviously a preparation guide video is frankly easy views and that would have quadrupled whatever terribly no low number this video in particular is going to get. I know YouTube well enough, but that video would be so full of it that it would be someone's mother-in-law. But want to talk about what I do know? Last raid tier in patch 6.0, I could pick up a full set of gear for less than a spicy ERP session in Limsa Liminza about a day later after the patch dropped. Market was ruined. Market was absolutely in shambles. It was destroyed. I knew many people who spent millions on crafter gear and pen to melts and all those optimal materials that were listed out in all these discord sheets and everything that you didn't even need to craft it at the end of the day. But people pre-optimized all their gear, pre-optimized even their crafter rotations. And out of like, we're talking like 50 or so that I knew personally, I knew exactly two that said that it was worth it and that they actually made a good profit too. I'm not gonna lie, at least one of them was a little sus. I believe their answer, but y you know what I mean. So I've been in this deadlock with myself, <laughs> as I literally say deadlock programmer term, but I've been in this like lock where I'm not sure if I should or should not be doing a video, should I be doing a video like this even, but the fact is I would rather talk about it than not because to be frank I think that's an interesting thing to talk about but given an unprecedented change to savage patches a full week delay is actually a significant chunk of time but given that unprecedented change what should I be doing for my channel my own platform somewhere that I go for fun and joy it trust me it's literally for fun and joy because if it was for views uh, not that hot if it was for money I've totally failed. <laughs> I'm literally just here for fun and for the community and so many of you treat me so well that it, you are all honestly like heroes like I love y'all so much but who should or what should I be advocating on my own platform and really trying to recommend to people that I care about. Real quick, but let me go into an example talking about the material markets and it's going to be real brief and based on actual data that we know. So am I meant to just tell people to buy up the material markets before the patch right until the last minute that the servers go down just so that you can try and resell them and get a turnover profit the morning of the patch as everyone else is in reality doing the exact same thing because some YouTubers recommend it and then scramble to do just that and everyone pushed all their material to the market board in 6.0 and absolutely crashed the material market yeah that was a real thing and for the record i was one of the few and i do mean few voices actually saying wait don't do that it's gonna crash you're gonna literally create a bubble and it's gonna bite you don't buy up the material and so to anyone that really heeded my warning was not surprised the material market took like a 40k per material reduction within the first day I was selling them for like insane amounts pre-patch, selling it to what I'll call material market speculators. I, I made millions of gil that way. Now I could talk out my backside, but the right call in this patch in 6.2 is less clear than it was in 6.0. Honestly, I and this is not advice to anyone else, but honestly, I'm currently putting my money or my material where my mouth is on that particular market. Uh, others, I'm not even gonna comment on. But I'm thinking right now we're still in that same kind of material market speculators causing a bubble and so I've been cashing out a lot of my material and again not what I'm going to recommend to people generally because I don't want to mislead people but regardless of then the day even if I'm making only 5k less back if, if I'm somehow wrong whatever but I'm pretty sure I'm right materials being bought up and pushed really quick right now for me at least. So now I have a question for you. 
tell me exactly who, what, what demographic do you think is going to be scrambling to the market board saying, oh yeah, I want to buy gear on day one of the patch or day three. Remember, it's been delayed a week. Heck, by the time the weekend rolls around, many statics will probably only just start to care at that point. I'm even talking about like some of the more hardcore ones because not even they're incentivized. Mind you, I wouldn't consider myself hardcore because I am more casual. I care more about the social and friendship experience. But factually, even I, with my raid team, we have a dedicated set of crafters who actually are going to be providing me with all my gear. I'm not even in this market. And this kind of just emphasizes my point. What we're seeing here today is unprecedented. We have no history of it. World first racers obviously have the same kind of setup with me as me, where it's just like you have someone providing you with the gear and obviously like you're out of the market. But the demographic that will buy it is a real big question. And this comes with a massive red flag that that market, the crafter market for consumables, whether potions or food, the gear, and that does include last patch. And I did say at the start of the video that market crashed within hours on Gilgamesh, but that market is highly time dependent thing, always has been. After a few days, the market is flooded and you lose out on that sweet spot. Yes, people can blame botters for some of that, absolutely, but you know what? Factually, it crashes. That's the net end result at the end of the day. If you're generally not on top of that market in the past within like the first few days, you're you're generally out. And obviously that isn't just crafting, that's gathering, that's consumables and everything else revolving around the raid in any capacity. And so I'm put in this highly awkward position where the last thing I want to do is waltz up to my channel and barrel off a few obvious talking points sandwiched between two large slices of, you know, BS. Which leads me to the only safe recommendations that I can make in earnest is the obvious things. Finish the MSQ, finish the old raid tiers normal mode so that you can get the next raid tier. Get ready to put items in the glamour dressers being doubled in size and try and make some inventory space which obviously the former will help the latter and if anyone has seen my inventory or seen me in discord lately you guys know that is a problem that is a beast i'm fighting right now but really aside from those things it's hard to say how to prepare the only and i mean the only thing i can honestly think of in earnest is treasure maps and that's even very limited you can only hold one of them per bag slot you have every retainer of mine has one my chocobo saddlebag my own inventory has a treasure map in it but that's a finite amount of them that you can get it's not like you can stockpile and over prep on it most people can hold what five one treasure map uh open one one, hold one in your bag that isn't opened, one in your Chocobo saddlebag, one per default base retainer, and then each of them's like 20k per map on Gilgamesh right now. And so yeah, that's kind of where we've landed. I'm not really sure how anyone in earnest can make any specific recommendations if I'm being super transparent here. You finish the MSQ so you can enter the island sanctuary that has no ties to crafters or gatherers whatsoever or outside resources, even has its own bags. Eh? Collect a bunch of materials for crafting? Eh. Be able to cap tombstones is a little rough to ask people to make that investment. I personally would not and am personally not going to be getting a full gatherer or crafter set prepared. I just don't see that as profitable or wise right now personally, If you, especially if you don't have one already made. I think if anything, you'd be at the top of the market right now. Not that I'm trying to come off as negative because I think that this delay is a great thing for so many people who actually want to participate in world first racing and get into raiding. This lets people slowly enjoy the story and undeniably will be a net benefit. But I do question the value in a lot of recommendations that I've heard across all social media platforms. Like, is this the time to make a gill stockpile, all the material, just buy out the market board, uh, get material for a full craft or gatherer set pentamelded, or you quote unquote will regret that you didn't and you're gonna be sad and bad? I, I am not trying to do a call out because, well, honestly, a lot of people have done that exact recommendation. But it just doesn't make sense. History doesn't indicate that it, that is going to end well, especially not with the new unprecedented delay. And that's why being fully transparent, I can't advocate for people in my community, people that I genuinely care about, to buy out the market board or pen to mail the crafter set today. What, so they can be dumped on by bots trying to serve a market that doesn't exist because the tier's a week out? It doesn't feel right to me, and if it doesn't feel right, I'm not gonna do it. Views and clout be damned, I can't in my opinion mislead people like that. I can't do it.